Do you really need pegs in order to beat Pegland? Today, I'm trying out a challenge where I fill my deck with Oh My Gorbs in the beginning. And what these do is remove any peg they touch for the entire rest of the fight. Meaning that, yeah, these pegs you see going, they'll never be back. So hopefully I can find enough damage. I took the relics that give me damage for wall bounces and uh, whatever bumper bounces to give me a bit of extra damage because I'm probably gonna run out of pegs. I thought it'd be kind of fun to maybe try to get an actual no peg win or something very close to it. And Oh My Gorb is usually an orb I deliberately avoid. So I thought it'd be pretty fun. Cruise Ball 15. The only rule is to shoot the Oh My Gorb when you can. I think I'm gonna intentionally tank this one because it's an asshole. There we go. Probably should have gotten more coins there, but it's all good. And I want to see if I can win like this. There is no shop in the near future, so I'll just upgrade this to a 7-Eleven. It's fantastic stats. It's just when you're out of orbs, it's sad. But that's why I think the idea of having the only damage come from wall bounces and bumper bounces being hilarious. I do expect this to be really good on some of the early floors, but I expect it, there to be a lot of challenges. I should really make the most out of the wall bounces if I can. Like, yeah, jamming my shots against the wall or bumper bounces because this is pretty good. That's actually enough to just end them right there. Because I'm good early, I think it just makes sense to try to take elite fights. There we go. It probably also makes sense to aim for the crit in every circumstance. It also might make sense to wait for everything to show up on the screen. Well, sometimes you can't do that. Sometimes you just gotta shoot your shot. And I mean, frankly, I'm doing damage fast enough where it's all right. Hitting this refresh will do nothing. And there's also like an orb state or maybe a peg state called morbid, where orbs can deal extra damage if it runs through the empty peg. There is no empty peg for that to happen. It's just nothing. And with that being said, let's keep upgrading all my gorbs. I'll spread the love a bit. Don't want to put all my eggs in one basket. Now it's the illusion of choice, which means it's the reality of getting coins and hopefully not taking too much fire damage. Hopefully not. Cool. So for this one, I should just wait for the big guy to show up on screen. I'll still hit the crit, I guess, but hope I don't hit too many pegs. That's okay. Now I gotta figure out if I can send it right down the side. I mean, that's enough to kill. All right, big guy's here. Let's see how much damage I can get directly on him before I have to like resort to drastic measures. Oh, almost hit a crit. That would have been perfect. Crit's in a terrible spot. Not gonna be getting much out of it. I guess if I do crit, I probably get extra damage for wall bounces, huh? Anyways, this ought to be decent. It was okay. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of pain though, not gonna lie. That's the one side of just constantly aiming for the edges is that the middle is a lot easier to escape. That's not a good thing. Now it's gonna start hurting. Oh, I hatch it have to shoot a stone. Should I even hit pegs? I should try to hit bombs, I guess. I'll try to hit a bomb. All right, softened it up. This will help. All right, he's not alive for long. It's basically over, I think. Yeah, not in the way I expected, but it works. The peg shortage is definitely real, but it is still working out. It's only 12 HP. Maybe I'll get healing from here. No. Multiple crits aren't, isn't happening. Refreshing the board means nothing. Oh, and same with this. Well, crit fleece is the only one that has potential. I guess I would want multiple crits now. We'll hope I can get there. Anything good here? Oh, healing whenever the board is refreshed. We're getting so much that actually has no synergy with my build, though. At least I could technically hit that refresh and again the illusion of choice maybe bomb so i guess i want to hit the refresh now as much as humanly possible that being said i didn't have a straight shot on it so i just kind of took it off to the side i might now actually don't right now i'll get rid of the one peg in the way and it's fine that i'm not killing things there's nothing real poses a threat just blow stuff up that's the important part i might even take this shot way out to the side if i can help it Mm, trying to gun for that refresh seems impossible. If I hit it, I'm a happy man. Not today, but that's fine. Got a lot of coins at least. Because I'm going to save money. There's a shop coming up. I would want to actually get a relic and an orb removal if I can help it. Now I need this elite fight. There we go. It's you again. Again, I think it's got to hit as few pegs as possible. At least it's the refresh. But that doesn't matter. That's wasted damage against the big guy. I'll intentionally waste this damage. And now I got to start going for him. Hitting refreshes is nice too. We'll see what happens. No refresh, no crit. 
A lot of wasted damage. Maybe keep this one in the middle. Ooh, also pretty bad. How about hit some bombs? Oh, this is a bad series of shots. Maybe this will help? There we go. More of that, please. Yes, keep hitting the edge. Hey, got even a heal, too. That's a kill. Love it. All right, I've got a ton of coin. I can get two relics at the shop. However, these elites aren't that good. Where's my oboe or corn? I don't hit that many pegs. Converting a peg to a bomb is okay, considering I was never going to get a peg back anyway. But that's basically one or two extra bombs per level. How about I take the sash... Sa How about I take the sash of focus? Because I think it's bad, but maybe deep down it's not as bad as I think. I just want a realistic idea of how it goes. Ooh, plus zero, plus one could be good. I don't have to take any self-damage from orbs, but... My pegs do. Anything good. More coins. Additional refresh. Plus one, plus zero. Or an additional crit for clit, crit freeze. I almost said clit fleece. I think I do want an additional one, though. Maybe an additional refresh for healing? I don't need to pick up another Oh My Gorb. Although, it wouldn't be bad. It's just less good than taking a relic, I think. I don't know if that's true. It's probably better than these relics. I'll take it and build up the Oh My Gorb army. And ideally, I want another elite fight just so I can find the good relics. Like, this is the time I'm powerful. I mean, that's fine. I can still make it to the elite fight. It's just less likely now. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to grab the egg for the sole reason that after the damn ability to start with a custom loadout, I haven't gotten the cake. So I'm just hoping I can get it. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm not going to remove all my orbs. I will instead remove my Terra Ball. It's a good trade-off. And then get this elite fight. Is this guy? I'm actually not really afraid of this guy. I just get a sexy power slide and then deal a ton of damage. I mean, yeah, especially if I get multiple crits. There is nothing to fear here. Just take some shots in here, yeah. Crit it up. He's almost gone. I need more coins. I missed both the crits. Thankfully, that doesn't matter. Ooh, I could buy a tier 3 stone. Well, let's upgrade another. Spread the love a bit more. It's a 712. What's not to love? Oh, prevent the first time I would lose health each battle. In combo with this sash of focus. I definitely don't have enough uh, crit action to crit a crit, so I'll save myself some HP. Maybe get some coinage as well. Yeah, that's right. I just saved HP. A little sneaky use of it. It's the mole, and honestly, this deck does do really well against the mole. But I do think it actually would have been just fine against the slime boss, too. I bet I could have dug up the necessary damage. Ooh, sweet early crit. I'm doing a great job, though, and not having good runouts right now. Oh, boy, let's hope that changes. Maybe a shot in here will change things. Yeah, that's a lot better. All right, double crit, maybe? Now just a single. That was a lot of non-peg hits. I'm here for it. I could double crit. Oh, I almost hit that. Okay, can't shoot the egg. I need that. This might just go down the pit. Maybe take a refresh. A little heal. All right, I got to go left at some point, so this sets me up for the future. And this is going to hurt. Ow. Okay, pain's over. Oh, pain's not over. I'm actually going to get myself a level two to just maximize my damage right now because I can't seem to stay left. How hard is it? How hard is it to not bounce to the right? Okay, whatever. I mean, it's just gonna hurt. Oh, four! Okay, well, at least I can just take any number of coins right now. I feel like I took way too much damage this fight. Terrible runouts. Doesn't matter. So again, if I can shoot an Omar Gore by will, I'll keep spreading the love. Multi-ball is bad with this challenge. Unpretentious Pendant is bad when I'm trying to go crit fleece. Ultimate power is bad without healing, but I don't hit that many pegs. Yeah, but I'm gonna die. You know what? I'll risk it. This is the only one that's interesting to me. I'm up against the wall, so HP doesn't matter that much. Because I figure this, right? I'm gonna need to scale in damage somehow. So I figure if I could just figure out how to get decent healing, this could be fine. Because look at that. I one-shot everything. If I go left, I get a chest and an early shop, which seems well worth it. So I'll save my money for that. I better get shopped up here. Oh yeah, I also have puppets. And wall bounces don't count towards the skull. And as long as I gun for refreshes, I think I'll be fine. I mean, look at this power. Look at it. Is that not incredible? I'm so good on this floor. 
Keep saving the money. I've already puppeted, so I won't trigger the wand this time. Well, whatever I take, I'm skipping because it's not no my gorb. But I do desperately need the chest. Oh, two additional crits. Give me that. Well, now I can crit to the freaking moon. Come on, one turn kill. Almost. Good job, Puppet. Yeah, Puppet actually kind of really hardcore enables a uh, wand here. I'm happy about it. All right, well, this will kill. Hopefully it doesn't kill me. Damn, that was nice wall damage all of a sudden. I'll keep my HP. Echo 10 could be good. Since my healing isn't significant enough. I can already buy two relics, so I'm just gonna... Well, I'll still shoot straight down. Avoid the flames if I can help it. Oh, an additional option to choose from seems great. An enemy is not getting their extra turn for my first reload also seems good. Yeah, removing an orb isn't even that important to me. Oh god, it's this guy. For once, I'm actually gonna skip because of the minus two HP. I actually don't really want to lose HP right now. And if I can help it, I'll try to make it all the way over to the right. We'll see how this goes. All right, that's a great one-shotter. And I still have my puppet. I was thinking about whether or not I'd be okay with taking a doctor, but I decided on no. Make it to the right. Nice. Immune to attack damage while reloading or more gold. I don't think I'm that desperate for gold anymore. I'm desperate for a good elite relic though. Oh, this is the good fight. There's so many good elite relics I can get. You have no idea. Anyways, though, I'm just trying to soften up the refresh because I'm not even going to want to deal my big damage until the big guy shows up anyway. But there I go, dealing big damage. That's a good one. There you go. I figured since it was by the edge, I'd get a lot of wall bounces too. I don't have a shop. Let's upgrade. All right, now all of them are level two. I could get a level three eventually. I mean, I will. Oboe is easily the best out of all of them. I've taken enough damage. Let's just hope I get Peglin Chef. Come on, 50 max HP. Nope. Well, it's an elite fight. That's fine. Let's see what I can get. Pretty good start. <laughs> what can I say? Let's get some wall bounces in here. It's also where the crits are. Yeah, that'll do it. All right, very powerful build for only having to hit each peg once. I can finally get a tier three on my Gorb, 914. And that's not bad because crits and refreshes do move and I would want more crits if I can help it. The only thing is right now I don't get damage numbers for hitting crits, but I do for getting walls. No, I'll take this because crits move after every shot. I think I will take the coins. And, oh, max HP by 15. I like that the most right now. Not like it matters against the wall. And how do I do against the wall out of curiosity, huh? Let's see. Well, I only get one shot, one opportunity. Ooh, I might get to use it. Oh, a second crit would have been legendary. That's fine, that's fine. There are now more crits and that's okay. Oh, it's beautiful. Gorgeous damage. Yeah, keep it near a wall. Okay, maybe not. A crit scaling isn't that heavy, but the wall stands no chance here. It's basically dead. Uh, assuming I can get a good edge shot. Come on. Come on. Right, these have been kind of bad. But it's just, there we go. Been bad bounces. This is way better. Yeah, it's over now. This is what I was hoping to happen. Keep carving that out. More tier three on my gorbs. And unfortunately, the only one that can really help is Electro Pegnet. I guess it's not bad, especially being able to get a ton of refreshes or sorry, a ton of crits. Yeah, no, that is quite good, actually. The Minesweeper boss. Here's to see how that matches up. Probably the harder of the two. Not by much, though, surely. All right, decent start. Very unlikely that I die. Here, I'll take a little healing. Nice. All right, more of that, please. The damage numbers are great. Ooh, I could get another. So I'm just like never reloading ever. I may not need more in my deck. I think I'd rather just upgrade all of them to tier three. 
I don't think I have money to get any more than the ones I do up to tier three anyway. Especially if I want to splurge at a shop. I wonder how this is going to go. A better one shot, huh? Yeah, I wasn't even worried. <laughs> more. This game really wants me to have more all my gorbs. I mean, I might be able to swing it. Where's the shop? It's down. And I might not even want to go that way. No, going that way is fine. And eh, you know what? Actually, probably will be able to afford it. Any fight that has enemies still yet to come kind of scares me. I'm just worried I'll spend all my damage on these front few enemies. And then when new ones show up, there'll be nothing to deal damage to them except for the side bumpers. And I guess now Echo. We'll see if that's the case. Also, I should probably get the egg out of my deck. Yeah, but the egg's so cool. I don't want it to go anywhere. Plus, the egg is healing. And with the way things are going, I'm going to need it. I just realized how much I hate red bombs. Because I'm already struggling with the uh, healing. And they're, they're just making it worse. Always hit the refresh. That's fine. There. Healed to max. Maybe a little overkill. That is so many crits. Send it. That's pretty good. I guess I could take a Dock Door, but that feels like cheating. I'm just going to take upgrades on all my Gorbs and move on. Hey, a free upgrade. All right, good thing I took that one because I can definitely afford that now. And thankfully, I made it to the Elite Fight. It's this guy with 3,500 HP. I feel like I do excel in single target damage. Well, and group damage. I kind of just excel in everything right now except for healing. So as long as I don't take too much damage, I'll be fine. I would like to finish him off right now, though. Can that be helped? It cannot. He doesn't shoot, though, yet. So that's okay. There we go. Shots are easy still. I do want to make it to a shop. Yeah, but I'll probably have enough money by then. All right, one more upgrade. One more upgrade, then I'll chill before the shop. Hero's Backpack. I was looking for this one. Plus one, plus two for every falling connected orb of the same type. Uh, yes. Short stack's pretty good, too. Actually, a lot of these are good now. I would take all of these. Where were these earlier? But Hero's Backpack, I think, is the play. Short stack might have technically been better, though. That's tough. Oh, guys, another red bomb lineup with a bunch of enemies yet to spawn. Can I make it to the refresh? Currently, no. Yeah, but the damage is incredible. I right, just hit like two pegs or something in a bunch of walls, and I'll be just fine. Yeah, I don't know what it takes to actually get to a refresh, though. When is this well hidden? I'll just shoot it like into here. Nope. <laughs> that was not it. Come on. There we go. Thank God he doesn't get his extra turn. Probably not getting this refresh, but it'd be still nice if I do. I got one. I'm now going to save my money. Because I guess I'd want to get that stone out at the shop just so I can maximize this hero's backpack value. Because, yeah, it's cock blocking me from incredible damage. Somehow I don't think that'll matter, though. It mattered. Thanks for nothing, asshole. Oh, okay, good. At least I hit that refresh. Please hit the other one. Okay. Improvement. I think I need a panic heal right now. Just because things were getting a little sketch. I figure I'll fort whatever I want to the shop anyway. Okay, so self-damage is just from orbs. This won't help me at all because of Red Bomb, but this one actively hurts me, so I guess I'll take it. The other one makes it so my crit flea scaling is worse. It'd be really strong if this helped with Red Bombs, but I don't believe it does. Okay, is this guy? Can't be too bad, right? Well, it's not a great start. I didn't set myself up that well to hit a bunch of crits. I guess that would have been the main thing. There we go. It's a little better this time. Oh, yeah. A lot better. Oh, I am so low. Ew. I gotta suck it up and take healing then. Coins contribute to damage. That does actually add up. That does basically make some pegs be worth effectively double. Because I think for a while I thought like one coin equaled the plus one damage. But plus one coin actually equals plus one peg hit, which can be a very large damage number, especially in the case of my build. 
Alright, so I'm playing with fire here. I need to heal. Very badly. Will I get to do it? I mean, a little bit, yeah. That's all. Nice. I want to save my coins for the shop, though. And maybe I can get enough to get a relic and to remove my stone? Probably not. But you never know. Well, it is going down that track. Looks like it is. Okay, now get me out of here. I'm not going to get out of here, am I? There we go. My HP is dangerously low. All right, so remove the stone for sure. Attack supply blind four to enemies is quite good. And now it's all about healing. Well, I may not get a chance to. Uh, these are all skip worthy. Skip. Ooh, it's very good. Super boots are too late. Well, it's Minesweeper boss time. Hey, who knows? Maybe the sash will actually save me in ways I never could have expected. Here's how I'm going to start this, all right? Just hit a wall, see what I go off against. What kind of damage can I pull? All right, where's my crits? Where are my crits? Kind of expected to find at least one. All right, well, there's one in here. It's moved. It's multiplied. More crits, please. Good. Good. Oh, it's over. Unless if I run by myself to death. Please don't do that. It's over, right? It's over. Oh, Minesweeper boss get owned. All right, so that's how you win Peglin with uh, basically no pegs. Stay tuned to find out what underused orbs I use in the challenge next time. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you on the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.